Welcome to science class. How are you today? Our lesson for today is identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. This is science for grade 4, weeks 7 and 8. At the end of this video, you will be able to identify changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. Let us start our discussion. The immediate place where you are now exposed to is your environment. In a sea river, there are different things that you may see. There are living and non-living things found in them. The natural environment where you are now is your home with your family and the other organisms as the living component. In the sea, there are rocks, stones, sand and water that are found these are the non-living things where humans and other living organisms interact what are the living and non-living things found in the playground are there activities they may be useful or harmful in your environment there are interactions that lead to changes in the materials found in our home and in our environment Seas are the habitat or environment for fish and other marine organisms. The playground has some benches and slides where you may rest or play. These materials making up the environment are always changing. Do you want to know why? There are three kinds of pollution which are harmful in our environment. The first one, as you can see in the picture, is water pollution. This is very dangerous. This is a human activity where people throw garbage directly or indirectly into our water. The second one is land pollution. In the picture, you can see tons of garbage which is very harmful in our environment and at the same time to all the people the third one is air pollution too many smokes polluting the air the harmful effects of changes in the environment are oftentimes caused by human activities when the surrounding air is blanketed with smoke from factories and motorized vehicles, ashes and other dust particles, the air becomes polluted. Polluted air causes skin itchiness, lung infections, cancer, and other respiratory diseases. Burning of garbage such as plastic materials, rubber, and other wastes is harmful also to the environment. Many items in household garbage, when burned, release dangerous toxic materials that contribute to global warming. However, there are changes in the environment that are found to be useful. The flowering of trees into fruits, utilization of leftover foods into compost, the use of animal manure for fertilizers, and the recycling and upcycling of different local materials are helpful to keep the environment clean and more adaptable for human, plants, and animals to live. This will lead to activities in food reduction and maintenance of a clean and green environment. Let us do this activity. You have to make a happy face if the given situation states changes in the materials that are useful in the environment. And you're going to make a sad face if it states harmful effects. The first one, cutting and shaping pieces of food, used wood or lumber into chair. Is it useful or harmful? sad or happy very good this is a happy face number two water on rivers and streams become contaminated with plastic waste is this a happy face or a sad face very good this one is a sad face third one 
Lung infections and other respiratory diseases become rampant due to excessive smoke from factories and motorized vehicles. Very nice. Yes, this is a sad face. Number four, recycling of waste for organic fertilizers. Happy or sad face? A happy face. Very nice. Amazing. And last one, dumping of garbage in bodies of water. Is this a happy face or a sad face? Correct. This is a sad face. Next activity. What kind of pollution is described in each situation? Choose the letter of the best answer. These are your choices. A. Air pollution. B. Water pollution. Or C. Land pollution. Number 1. Factories release harmful smoke. Correct! This is letter A. Number 2. Chicken manures release foul odor all over the town. Very good! This is also letter A. Number 3. Villagers dump their trash on a vacant lot at the back of the school. Correct! This is letter C. Number 4. Fishermen use dynamite while fishing. Very good! Letter B is the answer. And last one, using detergent soap while washing clothes in the river. Correct! This is letter B. Today we wish that you learned something from us. Thank you! And please do subscribe for more videos. You can also visit www.theteacherscraft.com for more learning materials.